Welcome back to Superior Sunrise. With me now, a very special family from Colorado, Corey Kessinger. I want you to introduce your family for me that we all got standing with us here. This is my wife, Shannon, Good morning. and then my son, Kaysen, who goes to West Texas A&M, and my daughter, Addie, who's going to be a senior in high school. Fantastic. Well, you guys have a busy day here. Got quite a few cattle selling, it looks like. Tell me about the cattle you're bringing to today's auction. We're selling our black hided cattle today um, with a few reds uh, mixed in with them. Um, most of them are Simmental Cross, Simmental Angus Cross, um, out of black and red cows. Um, very proud of them. We're, we've worked uh, awfully hard on our genetics the last several years, and, and Mike has encouraged us to be in the programs for probably 15 years now, so we're, we're uh, very excited for them. Well, and talk about the work of, you know, the genetics you've put behind these cows. What, what, what process has that been like for y'all? The process is kind of easy for us because we, we have in big country. Um, so we have to, first of all, um, we have to watch the birth weight. But then we've, we focus more on yearling weights instead of weaning weights because um, we're trying to sell calves more to a, a group of uh, buyers that can use them for several different things, whether they go straight to the feed yard, um, become a backgrounder, become um, grassers or wheat type cattle. So um, we focus more on a yearling weight. So um, hopefully somewhere down the line, they do real well for those buyers at that point. You have a lot of those other third party verification programs on there. You know, what have some of those programs changed, you know, for your operation as a whole as you've utilized them to market your cattle? You know, the marketing has been a huge for us. It, um, we, we feel like it makes a big difference on, on what our cattle bring. Um, as far as the verification goes, honestly, it's not that hard for us. We, um, we, we, like I say, we run in big open country. We calve a little later in the spring, so it's pretty easy for us to do all of all of what they're asking. Um, and so, as far as to get them verified and gapped and all of those things, it really hasn't been that hard. Um, the third-party verification has been really, really smooth in the past, and uh, so we're we're very pleased. And um, it really doesn't take that much for us to do that. Well, and how long have you worked with Mike selling your cattle on Superior? Oh gosh, Mike, <laughs> Mike worked with my dad um, for KK Farms and Hamco. I, I'm going to guess 20 to 25 years now. Um, he made numerous trips to Dalhart, Texas selling wheat pasture cattle. Uh, he'd roll in there at 5 a.m. and load 10 loads of cattle for him and then off, the, off he went to the next one. But yeah, it's, it's been well over 20 years that, that I've been involved in it. And then Shannon and I, we started our cow herd in about 2010. Okay. And so he's been working for us personally since then. So you've definitely got to put him to work, it sounds like. <laughs> yes, yes. He, he, and he's enjoyable. He's enjoyable. He's, he's, he's a very, very close family friend. We neighbor each other, yeah. so we do a lot of things together. Get to make fun of him a lot at brandings <laughs> and things like that. So it's, it's really enjoyable. Well, it sounds like, you know, you guys are a multi-generational um, unit here mm -hmm. on this ranch. What is something you want to pass on to the next generation in, in this ranching industry? Well, it's funny you say that because so these kids would be third generation Kessingers, but Shannon, they'd be sixth generation Millers on their ranch in Gunnison. So it, it is a family affair um, and and we we hope to sustain it so it, it continues to, to go on to them whether they want to come home or not. That's up to them, but we sure hope they will someday. And uh, we've worked awful hard to get to where we're at and, and, and hopefully have it to where it's, it's easy for them to do it in the future. Yeah. Well, I do want to ask you guys, you know, being that third generation, what is that like? And, and, and what are your plans for the future? Um, it's pretty cool to see what our parents have built and what coming down the generations, how that's changed yeah. and whatnot. But right now, I think both of us are still trying to kind of figure out what we're going to do for a while and then maybe, maybe age up a little bit and try to come back and bring something different into the ranch just like our parents did and Absolutely. try to change it even further and better it in some way. Yeah. Well, I do love to hear that. Thank you guys all for being here. Looking Thank forward you. to watching your cattle sell. Thank Don't you. go anywhere. We've got more Superior Sunrise up next. Mm -hmm. 